Hello, this is the tools video for our student project which we are making with three programmers, two designers and two artists and we are making a first person parkour game like Mirror's Edge and we are doing this in our own engine which we wrote from scratch in C++. Um, I am going to be demonstrating the tools and I am really proud of the tools so let's start. So I can select objects, I can move them around, I can, um, I can scale I can also scale like this, along with just one axis. I can rotate. I can um, do the same thing for multiple objects. I can drag select, and then I can scaling keeps the relative position of all of these. Um, rotation works as well. I've got undo and redo for everything. Um, if I click on an object, I've got the this window pops up that has all the components that are on this object in it and um, anything that you serialize in the game automatically gets added to this window so the program has to do no extra, wor no extra work to get his things into the editor and then you can modify things uh, yeah, in real time. Um, let's see, if you're an artist and you want to get your assets into the game you put your model into one of the subfolders of this model folder. Um, when I add a new FBX to this folder, the game detects that a new FBX has been added, it converts it automatically to our own format. I can take this, I can drag it into the game. Um, the object is in the game um, instantly just by dragging it. Um, the game, the object throws shadows, it has textures, it has uh, normal maps on it. Um, the same thing with dragging is true for textures, so I can take this texture, I can drag it on there, now it's on there, I can undo that, I can take the normal map and now it has that normal map. Um, any texture that is in the game I can modify it and it is um, th saved and then it is in the game instantly so that you can see so that you can see your changes instantly in the game. As an artist um, same thing with instant reloading is true for shaders, so I can modify a shader and it changes in the game instantly, so this makes debugging a lot, a lot easier. Um, the same thing is also true for models, but I can't show that because I don't have the modeling tool, I don't have modeling tools on this computer. Um, this is our in-game editor, so if I put the hero over here, I can jump into the game and then I can run around and I can try to climb up this flying thing, I can war run on it. Yay! Um, so I've got collision with it properly. Um, so yeah, I'm in the game instantly and I am back out. Um, get rid of the hero again. Um, let's see, other things. I can select all of these again and then I can say save these as an archetype and then I can give it a file name and it is um, over here in the archetypes folder so there it is again second copy of this island um, something like that um, this is really useful for pieces like this which um, the buildings are built out of pieces like this and then adding detail for example, um, this row of columns over here, if you fly into this building, you will see it several times over there and over there, as well as over there. Um, so I can just drag it into the game and then I could build more buildings out of pieces like this and similar pieces. If I want to have them lined up properly, I can, um, I can snap the objects to each other. So I can say this guy, click on this thing, click on that thing, and then, hey, it snaps. Um, that our designers like that feature a lot, just to have precision in the um, in working with the game uh, and working in the environment, working in the editor. Um, other things. Oh, I can. I've got this tool which allows me to take materials. And for example, I've got the palm tree material. I can paint it on other objects. Uh, doesn't make sense, but I can take this one and make these orange. Or I can have fun and take the water and paint it on this. And um, Yay, everything is refracted to this surface. Um, let's keep it like that. Um, other things. 
as I said, infinite undo and redo, so yay, I can undo all of this. <laughs> and I've been talking for a while already, so I think I will just stop it here. And yeah, these are basics of the tool that the tools that we are using to make our game. And thank you very much for watching.